what's good homo squad it's your boy homo ziggy we back here with another reaction and today we back with the stupendium with official game theory song a little theorizing now you already know with stupendium they're always gonna come with like the craziest ish i feel like this type of nerd core where it's like a little bit out there where and especially on a game theory because let's face it there's always going to be theory, theory how they say it? people who have theory theories theory tips i can't even talk but people who always have question about certain things that happens in either game food film animation and whatnot so who better to cover it on than stupendium and plus this is from like a collab with like these people from like this channel called Game Theory or so, or Game Theory or whatever. One thing I gotta say, when it comes to nerdcore artists, you will never know who they're gonna collab with and get bangers out of. So the fact that Stupendium went the length to collab with them, with like a well-known type of big brand or whatnot, no matter what it is, that shows commitment right there but either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video Your computer, stick a disc in your console's drive. Whatever mm. platform you're choosing, mm. it's time to switch on your mind. Could be Super Mario shooters now for those evenings down in the mines. Mm. But if you look past all those shiny graphics, you'll be surprised what you'll find. What? Inside these worlds we love, behind our TV screens, there's so much to discover when you peek between the tiny gaps in the story, science, math, and the law. We've got all that to explore. <laughs> trust me there are memes behind trust me you wouldn't for many times when you're looking on the internet you would always find a meme of certain games out there and such tell me i'm wrong not wrong always crazy that each game that you always find in such there's always going to be like theories on that specific game even if it's a wacky game somehow when you go on the internet and such it's like i mean hell when i was watching the amazing digital circuit one i was just going there to watch it for some funny crazy wacky things right but then when i look at it there's other there's like videos on how it's about what what each character is about or how it is as a society and such it do it just goes to show you I'm reacting one second y'all and we're back sorry about that. Blank page in a clear horizon, so why not do a little theorizing? 
Ooh, vocals. Oh hello. What you mean grab a diet? I ain't grab I can grab the diet coat, but I ain't grabbing no human soul. What the hell? Like <laughs> what you said about why was Markiplier there? What the heck? Hold on. How all of the cash and tiny focus on it. I am reacting. I don't even know. Good. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, it's because he does has a mansion. But let's face it, Luigi. Luigi at this. Why well, think he's called Player Two? It's crazy that even though I'm surprised it wasn't called Mario's Mansion. Let's face it, Luigi's always get the shtick of everything. But it's cra but like he, like I said, it's crazy that with every game out there and such, you're always gonna find something questionable about it. So I wouldn't blame Supendium or any other artist out there to make a theories on it. That little harmonizing stupendium and such with the theorizing theorizing yeah. <laughs> I see a gaming look Y'all comment down below what's your favorite game to play and such and which game you ever thought was questionable. Don't give me like the typical ones like the Five Nights at Freddy's ones. Or if you want, you know what, at this point if you want to, cool. But you're going to say the typical Five Nights at Freddy's or Pokeball. Well, it's basically like this. Any game out there could have a questionable thing about it. What makes it so like gravitating to like play and search why people love it so much why it's just always everywhere y'all let me know what's your favorite game and what's your theory about it because i know damn well i probably have a game out there and people question it that's what i always work by everybody I was chosen in saw I'm just dying right then and there cuz what makes you think I'm funny one I'm trapped in here with a psychotic little damn clown puppet you might as well say and two 
if I choose one, even if I think it's the right answer for any question, any game that he plays, I might, my, I might up end up killing me or somebody I'm playing with. So how the freak would I even want to do none? So hell no, nah. fuck Saul. <laughs> I ain't trying to kill myself over Saul. Get out of here. If you want to go, be my guest, but I ain't doing it. One thing I like with Stupendium is that they One second, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm... See why most of the times I get annoyed by... It. Many freaking... Whatever. Get back to this. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This right here. Hold on. Like this, Team Theorists. Damn. Over 40 million subscribers. Shit. I wish to even gain just a million subscribers, much less 40 million. But hey, people work. It's basically like this. There's a lot of times when on YouTube and such, there are certain channels where you come up to, like, even though it's your first time, what? I've always said, like, it's even though it's like your first time seeing that channel, but when you realize the 40, this bitch up over 40 million subscribers and shit, damn, they must, they've been grinding, grinding and such. But hey, crazy. That just shows you a lot of people work out there to do their stuff. For the every kick of the phone. Wow. One thing I can say is with Stupendium, Stupendium could literally go for, you know when in school where they always give you like those educational videos where, especially if it's in like in a song or so, Stupendium will do great in those, not gonna lie. <laughs> like... Wait how the vocals are and such and everything and then it's entertaining, trust me. This will go. Theorizing. Mm -mm. I'm guessing this is them. Yeah. So that's what Khan, of course, was looking. Thank you to my amazing patrons, and of course, an incredible thank you to Matt Pat and everyone over at Team Theorist for making this collab possible, especially to Tyler for producing this fantastic video for the song.
tell you theory and I first Damn, that's about a lot. And I'm so excited to finally be able to share it with you all. A huge welcome to anyone here visiting from this week's game theory. In other news, I have merch again. A whole new collection of Dupendi merch. Too much merch, too many new. If you enjoyed the song, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to hear all my latest songs and check the playlist for all of my other ones. And if you haven't, make sure to check out today's episode of Game Theory where this song features. We're so close to hitting a million subscribers, but in the meantime, like 9k away. The song, a stupendium song. Thanks for listening. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Stupendium. <laughs> Stupendium is gonna definitely one of these days. I want to see when Stupendium has like a song that's featured on something that's like big or so. I've said it before with many of these nerdcore songs, you're gonna get one of them that's gonna literally featured on a soundtrack for a, either like a game or or an anime opening or something because they're that entertaining and such. But either way, y'all comment down below. What y'all thought about this reaction and such, and sorry for the many cutscenes and such, little breaks here and there. It'd be annoying sometimes, that's why I be locking that door. But either way, if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below, distractions. <laughs> and that makes me know you made it to the end and such. And like I said earlier in the video, if comment down below a game that you've played many times in your life and always wondered... What makes it so intriguing? Like, what's your theory on that game and such? Comment that down below. Sorry, a little burp. But either way, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.